Hey guys, this is Frank from Camp Kayak Adventures and we are back for our 2024 season. We have nine trips planned. We're just heading out to Arrowhead Provincial Park in Huntsville. Then we're heading after that to Algonquin and Mule Lake. We have a nice waterfront site there. Then I'll be doing a solo trip to McRae in Aurelia. Then a new one on our list, Murphy's Point. And then back to Emily. Monica's never been there, so it'll be a, a new experience for her. Not one of my favorite parks, but you know, we'll make a fun weekend out of it. Then we're heading up to Grundy. Last time we were at Grundy, remember we had our nice bear encounter? Then we're off to Kilbear. Six nights in Kilbear where the waterfront site definitely will be a great time. Hopefully the weather will be good. And then we finish off in Silent Lake. And uh, that's it. That's our 2024 season. It's the May long weekend and uh, we uh, got there a little early around three o'clock got uh, set up and decided to go down to the falls while it wasn't busy it's an amazing place to go down and hang out and sit by the falls and uh, just relax unfortunately the stairs down to the falls aren't really that dog friendly they're a metal grate so you know Kenzie's not too hard to uh, carry down but if you've got a large dog it might be a little more complicated but to avoid them, you can come down the Sobel Falls Trail from the main road on the west side of the river. And uh, you can take the trail down and avoid the stairs. In the morning we head out to the pet exercise area and uh, hope to get in some kayaking. Uh, there's a pet exercise area and a dog beach at Arrowhead. The dog beach is located near Beach One, which is where the opening is to the little East River off of Arrowhead Lake. And the pet exercise area is on the north side of the park, north of the North and South Lumbee Campground. We much prefer the pet exercise area. Uh, it's usually not as busy and it kind of gets you out of the way from regular uh, beach goers so we're just going to give Kenzie a little swim here and then we're going to head out to the water so we've been heading on the water here in Arrowhead it is May 18th it's uh, 22 degrees outside it's a nice day a little sunny a little overcast but a great day for being on the water been beautiful weather so far this long weekend a couple days ago it looked like we were gonna have rain all weekend but uh, as you know the weather changes all the time and uh, it did and here we are out kayaking Saturday morning As you can see, almost all the beaches are empty. I think the one directly in front of us, there's nobody on it. There's maybe a dozen people in the one behind us. I think they're probably the one uh, near where the river starts. There's probably about uh, maybe a dozen people there. Uh, a lot of empty campsites in the non-electric uh, up near North Lumbee and through there. Um, basically, you could see loops that were completely empty. And we're at uh, Saturday on the long weekend, it's around 1 o'clock. Hey 
if you want to get out of the park for a little bit, it's just a 10 minute drive down to Huntsville. You know, they got a nice waterfront restaurant. They got some trendy stores. You can rent a kayak or canoe or pedal boat. Get out on the lake, have some fun. So we got back to the park and we went and visited the park store or visitor center. Uh, the firewood, ice, uh, rental equipment, ice cream, clothing, coffee, and much more. Very nice place. It's also uh, dog friendly. It's time for sightseeing. Let's start with our site first, Site 251. Very private electric site uh, in the East River Campground. Uh, the power box oh, is pretty far. Uh, we had uh, all our 125 feet of power cable out. You can see the trailer next to us is pretty far as well. Uh, so the privacy was amazing. I uh, definitely recommend this site. Also, at the end of the dead ends, these roads, there's a walkway, which uh, you can take in the trail. It'll take you to the Big Bend Lookout. It's also fairly close to uh, Stubbs Falls, so it's kind of in the middle of everything and uh, very convenient. Site 500, non-electric. It's got a fence beside it, fairly wide open. No campers beside you, but you got a busy road in front of you going to the beach. But you've also got to walk to the beach and lots of wilderness back there. So we're heading out on the Mayflower Trail. It's a short trail around the lake. Nice uh, trail for a morning little hike. So off we go. You can even come down here. They got some picking tables and a little barbecuing area. If you want to bring some food down and do a little barbecuing by the lake. As I've said in the past, every camping trip always ends at the dump station. Well, it was a long weekend and we decided to miss the morning, Monday morning rush at the dump station. So we headed out on Sunday night. And I just want to thank everybody for watching our Arrowhead Provincial Park video. And uh, please subscribe and check out our other videos on the channel. And our next trip will be to Mew Lake Campground in Algonquin Provincial Park.